okay i'm going live in the groups on youtube channel um, exactly okay perfect so the purpose of this life is to go through public connect public connect is a zapier alternative in other words it's, it's the tool that helps you with automations but before I go quickly, let me see who's coming and seeing and watching this live. If you can see me, uh, please uh, let me know if you're there. Okay. Um, I am actually streaming live across multiple platforms right now. I am streaming live in the groups or so two Facebook groups. I am streaming live in two YouTube channels. And I'm also streaming live on my personal profile as well as LinkedIn and as well as probably twitter or maybe not twitter but i think i connected six different channels using Restream. so i'm using my own um, desktop ecamm software connecting it and that's automation in action i'm only live in front of my you know laptop here and i see seven people joining from all the different you know platforms so i'm going to be sharing a quick overview of the new deal that's out there it's a lifetime deal uh, Public Connect, which is a Zapier alternative, and it's supposed to, um, you know, show us all the stuff, all the cool things out there, right? So, I hope everything goes good. My, if you have any questions, anything, you should be able to see what I have here. So I'm sharing my screen now, and um, so, the a little bit of history. So Public and 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 myself. I actually have some uh, history with them. I bought the deal for subscriptions way back in 2018. Okay. And I hope everybody can hear me. So how's the voice? Okay. So it looks like I can hear myself. So if there's any questions, guys, don't hesitate to ask. I'll go through. And, uh, but I want to just give you a quick overview of what it can do. And then, you know, how it does. So technically, if I'm here... What you have is, um, uh, this is the the, the, the the app. So when you go in there, this is what you will see. It looks like this, right? So basically, I have um, something like this. I will start, you know, a workflow. I will connect it to something else, you know, and then, and then I'm going to connect to something else, then something else. You can have, you know, a long automation process. You can have 10 different things talking to each other. And that's the power of this tool. You have no limits. A lot of the other tools I've seen uh, will let you just sync two things and then you have to go back and sync two other things. So this one is very straightforward. So the way they work is you uh, you can use either webhooks or direct integration. So this is an advantage. I'm actually using both right now. And you see here, when you use uh, direct integration, um, it also it works fine. So you map the fields. Sometimes the data comes as weird like this. They added a tool called the JSON extractor, which cleans up this data. And the other thing that you have to do is actually map, uh, mapping the information onto where it's supposed to be. So just this, these uh, three uh, lines you see here, those are the ones that let you select all the information that you're looking for. Now, mind you guys, and the deal is live right now, uh, before I go into detail of how it's gonna work all that, uh, let me actually talk about that because that's kind of important. Uh, the LTD deal, uh, probably connect. Yeah, the LTD deal was ra very rigid initially. The pricing was a little bit, you know, messed up. So we kind of made a deal with them to go back and forth. And they have accepted to uh, charge, on, you know, $79 one-time fee lifetime deal one code 2500 you know tasks when you compare this and um, to the other developed apps like zapier uh, that's a generous deal if you look at it zapier for something like this you're looking about 50 dollars you know something like that 50 dollars 60 dollars 70 dollars a month and if you look at two codes it's 5000 tasks now they become really generous from the third code where you actually double uh, more than double what you have uh, so i i would the pricing and at this point now looks really fair and really good. Uh, people were having problem because they had two thousand, then four thousand for two codes. Then they had, you know, 
6,000 for three cores. Now, instead of six, they have 12,000. So that's the way it starts to double, right? And then five codes was 10,000 before. Now they doubled it. It's 20,000. Now, if you had 10 codes before, you are getting 20,000. Now it has more than doubled. That's a really generous deal in general. And so, yeah, what it does, I'm, I'm going to go back there and show you. And I'm going to run a task quickly right in front of you guys here. And I hope that everybody uh, gets it and everybody understands it. And so let's quickly go there. And just to be fair and to clear, I do have an affiliate link that I shared in my life. So if you feel like you want to pick up, just go from there. I'm not pushed in any way by affiliate commissions. I am the type of person who will fight for a deal, go back and forth with them. If it's not a sweet deal, I'm going to be the one who's advising against it. If it's not the deal that I want, I'm the one who's not going to go there. I'm only promoting the deal because now... They were responsive. They made, you know, because the community was really upset. Here is what I'm going to tell you. When you have an LTD deal and you're dealing with this LTD community, what you need to do is to uh, learn how to work with them, right? To, to understand their sentiment, to understand their feeling, how they do their calculations, how they, you know, why would somebody, they hate paying monthly, but they don't pay you upfront for something for the next 10 years, which costs them very cheap. So there's a chance that you're going to lose them both on the subscription because they hate paying monthly and also on the lifetime deal because you're asking for too much upfront. So the lifetime deal, basically, people misunderstood. Um, somebody buys this, they invest in the platform. Rather than getting, you know, a deal owner, I mean, an, an investor who owns part of your business, you take advantage of the, you know, the, the generosity of the LTD community where they are willing to lend you some money upfront for you know a year or two maximum where you're giving them an exchange and limited access to the to the platform so here and um, i think i got a question uh but let me see if there's any question that's coming through uh yes i'll cut to the play okay perfect all right thank you yeah so here is my situation now i just wanted to uh, when i first started playing with it there's a good video actually you should watch these videos because every single app the way they connect may be different because of the different technologies so what you have is an app that's trying to uh, make some kind of marriage between deals that have no business with each other right so bringing them together making them talk to each other so i'm gonna run a trigger but here is a simple one that i did i'm not gonna go into detail of how it's done i think the best one is to watch the tutorials and but here's one I did. I did a very interesting one. The one I did is um, Ida Form, which is a lifetime deal that a lot of you guys probably bought, you know. I wanted to fill and I have a form. I have a form out there. As soon as that form is filled, I want that form to be sent to Sendfox, which is another LTD deal that's actually going on on Absumo and has been there for a while. So it could be any other one. They have a lot of them. So rather than, um, you know, Sendfox, you could use... Um, you could use all the other apps. There's Automize in there. There is uh, Moosend. There's so many, many different ones, right? So you go ahead and select the one. So in this case, I'm trying to test Sandfox. Why? Because Sandfox has an automation feature. And I'll, just like any other, you know, any of these deals here out there. So here is what I'm going to do. I want the data and to come from the trigger is input form coming from Ada. Then what I want to do is I will clean up I, I cleaned up, of course, using JSON extractor, was able to map what I want into this field, right? First name, last name, and something like that. And then I want to uh, send this information from Ida form into um, Sandfox. And when it hits Sandfox, it's now clean. There are nothing here. I don't use it at all. It's very, very clear. So I want to make sure that Sandfox automatically receives that information and I want to trigger more automations using Sandfox. Okay. So here I have my website welcome email seri series. So I'm just putting, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm not even going to edit. It's going to look like some series of emails that are going to be triggered. So the trigger is I'll, I'll make sure that as soon as somebody's added to my contact, I have a contact, I created a contact list, right? So as soon as my con my, somebody gets added to that list, I want them to automatically, by the way, and you have to choose that when you're doing the, the integration, you have to choose which contact list you're adding to from Public Connect. So as soon as they get, I want them to, um, you know, 
send an email right and the emails look like this and I'll just have some rough uh, emails I have this one here it looks very interesting so where is my yeah I want to make it smaller so I want to save this one so as soon as this one's I have a, an, a number of emails I'm personalizing I can personalize using the first name and now I'm gonna say you are now part of the family over the next few days I'll sending you some goodies stay tuned or you can add a ebook whatever you know whatever you promise them they will get from you here so so again the steps are I'm connecting IDA form right which is what I created right here I have the form I want that form as soon as somebody uh, feels that information I want them to get an email um, from SendFox and SendFox automatically of course prepares that information I can make them uh, SendFox send an email every single day for the next seven days whatever so they have the automation thing so you can do that so that's now several steps one go from an um, IDA to SendFox and then SendFox goes now to the email of the client so I added actually my my I'm gonna add an email here whatever email I add I have my Gmail inbox ready open so all I need to do is open that and be able to connect to it right and see what happens so let's get started let's do a test for those of you uh, who are watching live this is really cool uh, let me show you how this is gonna work I'm gonna be open to that idea okay so let's see take 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 either form right uh, yep this is the form so I'm gonna put the first name of the person let's call them and James last name door I don't know so the email now I'm gonna have to use a real email just to show you guys this works I'm gonna use my gmail account that I use for all my junk stuff so uh, and I'm gonna put that in there right and now I have first name last name James Doe and my name so when I'm sending that email I want I want the system to know the first name of the person it has to be which we did on the automation section on SendFox so here is gonna do James Doe automatically gets an email uh, once I submit my IDA, my IDA form right so here submission I'm gonna hit submit now I want to make this point clear okay there are two ways to trigger the uh, the automation if you use the regular integration they have a delay of five minutes okay if I select a webhook system which is also possible so they have both options you can do regular integration uh, method that's five minutes so what this does is the system waits for five minutes every five minutes goes back to the system doesn't mean necessarily five minutes it could be like you know uh, less than that but every five minutes the system goes checks on any data coming from uh, either forms if they find something they pull in that's called pulling in if it is through webhook it does not use even your uh, it doesn't use your automation so if you had 2,000 tasks a month that's not even part of the uh, automation uh, I mean it's not part of your tasks so you get to save money doing actually the webhooks right and the advantage with the webhook is it's instant you don't have to wait for five minutes so those are the two differences why because public has to fetch data from um, from either forms and so it costs you a task right every time you connect two dots so here it's one task right now that I'm doing either goes out and no and so public goes out gets the information from either and sends it to um, send Fox that is one trigger complete one task complete now if I'm using webhooks it's different and the information is now being pushed into IDA and so you save yeah you save some uh, I think you say some task there I'm not sure but I'm, I think that's what it what, 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 what Neeraj told me that when you're using webhooks it will save you money basically you're not using it won't count against you anytime uh, information is pulled I mean pushed by a webhook okay so that's what I'm gonna do now that I have this information covered, let's go here uh, to either form now. We're going to send this information. So I want you again to look at my email here at SendFox. I need to save and I need to go back. 
there is no emails nothing zero no no subscribers nothing here and i want you to look at how long it's going to take for this information to come from them right because i have it both connected with webhoop and regular integration of course i said if you're doing regular integration it's gonna take about five minutes to come which is gonna cause a delay but what i did is i'm trying to get it quickly so i'm using the webhook right now so i mean you can use both ways okay so now let's go submit this right once i hit submit this is what's gonna happen so an email is sent success we receive we have received your submission so here at this point aida has submitted this information let's go refresh our page on sandfox dashboard do you guys see that automatically my screen now shows i have one subscriber right which means that information came quickly instantly without the delay automatically it came here and here is the fun part that's gonna happen and um, i want to go into the email the gmail that i used and see what happened uh, this is my personal one so here there's nothing here so let me refresh right i'm gonna refresh inbox right am i on the right one so let's go back here check okay here and um, my automation came here so let's check what happened automations let me check if i properly set this up okay or if there's any delay whatsoever in this okay let me check if there's anything in my junk before i go there all righty here nothing okay so let's check what happened here and um, probably now of course of course public did its job the only part that now is missing is the automation section from here so let me see what i did if i edited anything uh it's running so yeah you have to make it run let's go try what happened i want to edit the trigger yes this is my contacts right sent yes uh, and any delays nothing so on this side i'm good i'm covered for this let me go back if my Gmail is not refreshing or not. Okay, so I don't see anything from here and uh, no automation, nothing. This is from AIDA form, it came through. This is coming from uh, the automation coming from Sandfox so here is what happened here so i have one subscriber and uh, let's go to the automation what happened there's one okay so looks like i probably the trigger no delay yep 100 percent edit email it's coming from me Welcome to my site or test site. Actually, why don't we try again? I don't know what I did. So it's supposed to automatically trigger the information from here and send it back to the uh, to the system. So let's see here what happened. Oh, it's coming delay 24 hours. Ah, okay. No, not this one. These are different ones. I want the email to be sent automatically. So let's go back to our list here. And this is the email that we have. It just came in. We see that. That's correct. This is it. Um, now here, what's going to happen? Um, let's go back one more time to check if there was any delay on the Google site. Nothing in my junk. Nothing in my spam folder. Okay. That is interesting. So... Aida, of course, says the stuff was submitted, so it's supposed to be good. Now, here is what I'm going to say I want to do uh, one more time. This came in 
as soon as this came add contact oh okay nope update list this is good so it's a so one subscriber the subscriber is supposed to be sent automatically to to the uh, yeah I have it there and one more time double check what happened nothing on gmail site okay all right why don't i use another email and test thank you somebody uh, send me something okay let's try another email here um let's go back i want to add now another one so let's say james john okay i'm gonna use my regular email because those are the only ones i can confirm uh james john okay, let me use this one Muhammad Ali, G Toronto. okay submit so submitted okay perfect now let's go what happens here uh, sometimes the automation could fail because i made a mistake so there's two subscribers automatically uh, Publi is doing its job automatically this is coming now what I want is things to be coming into my inbox right uh, which is taking a minute or, or two Aida is submitting the information I see that uh, primary nothing nothing from me yeah so that must be uh, something to do with my setup 100% so let's go back here. I have my list. I have my uh, automations here. Okay, add subscribers. Ah, that's what happened. Okay, so here the automation, the subscription was that the list that I used was actually not the correct one. So we may have to redo this part and, and see what happens. If not, I can refresh and see if it actually sends something. It may or may not send because the trigger is only when you add a new contact, right? So, you know what? I'll just go back and check. That's the, the part that I skipped. So, I'm going to actually delete this list, okay? Uh, the contacts I'm going to delete. So, remove this one. I'll remove this. I'm going to remove both of them now. And pretend like nothing happened so now again we're reset back to zero guys sorry about that um, because I think I made a, I made a mistake with my automation on Sendfox so let's try this one and if I clean up this oh where's my active subscribers contacts oh I gotta delete it I'm gonna delete all of them make it clean again you know what I'll do my list is yeah this is good so we already did that so let's go back now check zero subscribers zero total okay let's go back to Aida one more time try now because I think we made a mistake with the first one so I'm gonna use again and uh, Tom John, I don't even know if there's a name like that. And then just use one of my random ones and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, this is the trick part with automation. You got to make sure you set it up properly. So success. Go back to Sandfox. Reset. Now we see there's one automation that came, right? Now let's check the email. The email, nothing here yet. Refresh. I am doing something totally wrong. Okay, let's check if there's any on uh, spam folder. Ah, looks like I'm messing up something. So here, on um, let me here add subscribers. See here, this is the biggest problem. Okay, I need to add new subscribers to queue. Okay. That sucks. 
So this is, and then start. You gotta play your game because the automation is the tricky part for this one is here. Again, try. Go back. Check if there is anything that comes through. Pretty sure nothing will. If the automation fails on the end, okay. One more time. Again, this had nothing to do with Ada, but more on the uh, on this side. So here is what I have. Okay. Uh, go to contact and list my contact delete this one Tom John is coming so I I mean probably is doing their job very well uh, and it's just that uh, I'm not familiar with because I haven't been using Sandfox I wanted to use it with this automation to automatically send information so let's try again one more time I hope this works now um, my Ada form fill it up Sarah Allen. Okay, try now. Every time I feel this information, it's automatically coming to probably sending this information to Sendfox, which is the main reason why we're doing this, right? And but I want also Sendfox to automatically send information to my client. So boom, one one subscriber came through. And now let's check if there's anything with the with the sending ability. Ah, okay, could be another reason. This is weird. Okay, sometimes it could be, uh, yes. Yeah, the information came through. Pretty sure there's uh, something I'm skipping. Uh, this is doing good. When I go there, I see this in the list. Uh, no sent. So nothing has been sent yet. I can see that. Nothing has changed. Okay. Any questions? I will answer them. No problem. But I'm trying to see. Maybe I'm skipping something. Does anybody have any ideas? Let me check. Oh, no. Uh, I think I'm making a mistake. Okay. Okay. I will see what I can do here. I'm thinking I'm, I'm messing up the automation on this end. But here is what I'll do. So this one contact, one contact. Uh, automation here. Subscribers. Okay, trigger, new contact from here, this is good, welcome email, this is good, this is the welcome email, why don't we test if this is working first of all, so let's test if this is, oh, that's why, that's why, okay, okay let me test this with, with my regular email, this could be the reason too, another reason could be this one that I may have changed some stuff. This sucks. Okay, so are the emails working? And the answer is probably yes. Yeah. Let's go back and check it. Yep, it looks like it uh, it's failing me. So, but anyways, the idea is I'm going to find this out maybe one more time and see what happened. Uh, two emails. The emails are here. Um, the list is here. So there's two emails. One more. I'm here. Hmm. This is new. New added to the list. My dashboard says zero emails, nothing. So two active subscribers. Exactly. Hmm. 
Okay, try again. One last attempt, and I'm gonna have to call it quits and try it again. Okay, to go back. Yeah, so the point is that this thing is doing its automation work properly. And um, Ali, and now the email is Muhammad.ali. I'm gonna use this email and send it. Perfect, so this is working. And so send Fox again, dashboard. Of course, the emails are coming. Yep, automation. So uh, one automation is created. Did I make a mistake with type? Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Try this different email. Submit. Submission is there. Yes, yeah, so the list now. Oh, nothing yet. Ah. Go back here to Publi and see what happens. I've been getting all my information properly for the past one hour. here comment okay one second sorry hey yes 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 no problem thank you thank you so you have an idea anyways um you thank you for joining guys i'm gonna have to play more with this one it's actually working fine like generally most of the time but i'm sure uh yeah i'm sure i'm making some mistakes as well but for this is yeah this is how how good it goes and and it's supposed to be working perfectly fine so Sometimes it could be uh, I'm going to double check if I messed up anything up, you know. But I'm sure it's uh, it's a good workflow. The fact is, it could be uh, okay. If there's any comment I can hear that, yeah. Yeah, that's a good example. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point. I only built one one connection, and I don't know what I did. Uh, let me see if I made any mistakes. Yeah, it worked fine. It always sends all the information very fast. But am I abusing it? Am I doing it too much? And the system is uh, detecting. Yeah, it's actually new response. It's coming through. And uh, oh, look, look. So the the uh, the delay was us uh, uh, from from Sendfox. I can see now it's coming. Hi, you are now part of the family. The email came through exactly. So it looks like there was a delay, and uh, uh, but it looks like it came through. Everything now looks good. So the connection shows that it came from uh, uh, from Publi to from Ida to Publi, Publi to Sandfox and Sandfox to Gmail, right? And now everything looks delivered. Uh, where is the other email? The inbox that I did earlier on. Okay, if there's any anything that's coming through, 
probably not so the last one actually came through so let me go back and check yeah I think it's now using the delay uh, method so it did send it but now this is not showing up so maybe it could be another five minutes before that so I don't know how many limits or what's the limits I can play around with the uh, with the webhook thing um, but that's what I did it was using the for the immediate response it was using the webhook but uh, for sure this is I tested it so many times that it was working fine right and uh, maybe I'm adding the same number I mean the same email a few times and these guys may be acting up right now uh, that's another option so they that could be another reason but from my understanding the public connect uh, tool was working fine so let me actually go back save yeah so I'm gonna send the test connection the test connection will show that they're all uh, connected you know send test connection save right excellent and then send test connection and now this is saved this is another connection and it's saved okay yeah so it's a new tool for sure and um, there could be some glitches maybe who knows this is directly just taking the uh, the the webhook and then connecting that information and making sure it's testing properly right save take that and send to sandfox test connection is good Let's see if I can see additional fields added here uh, maybe that's another reason why this could have broken uh, maybe I'm supposed to clean up all these other fields I'm not supposed to have so yes like IP address all this information so maybe I'm mismatching stuff now because I added something else um, but this is AIDA it's getting me the results this is the uh, form that I was sending yes so the it came through now it's working so yeah it looks like I uh, kind of did some connection on that side and then the email actually the trigger was done so we got the email coming into my inbox uh, as you could see early on from the other side which is it's coming in as an uh, as a promotion yes <coughs> it's coming in as a promotion so let's try again let's play game game with it one more time and uh, yeah I think it worked out everything fine now so test is uh, Adam then Ali and use now this other email and see what happens submit and it's submitted now and so I definitely will get something here so I have I have two contacts it says uh, total active subscribers one and it came through right it comes through because the, the same email I think the same email is already there so probably may not do much but uh, let's see yeah because it was there so I don't think it's gonna make any difference I need to delete the contacts both there's a mistake here zero subscribers go back submit success go back on email came through 
right? And that email is supposed to send another email to my inbox. I mean, look, Aida came through, yes. But the email is not being sent now uh, by. Yeah, so maybe there is a delay on their side as well. So it could be a few minutes before they throw it in. I have the contacts for sure, right? Right there. I see that the emails are coming through, but I don't see the reason why it's taking time. And this is a new contact. This is active. And so this is being treated as new. But where is my... So yeah, it's on the side of... Uh, Sunfox that's not sending anything. Not sure if there's delay on their side, but generally you get the idea. The idea is basically you go grab something, right? You use either you know the API, the I mean the web hooks, or you connect it just like Zapier. There's no difference. You have to do your mapping of the data when you take it. And so I've got to have to refresh this one. Yeah, and then this information is sent automatically to um, Sunfox. And that's straightforward. And then within minutes or seconds, you get that information straight from them, just like here. And so this works fine. I mean, if you can save a lot of time doing this kind of things and sending automation, somebody comes on your website, they fill a form. As soon as that form is designed, let's say I have a school and there's an admission form. As soon as somebody fills the admission form, you can send them the welcome emails, all the marketing related to it, right? So that's, uh, that's something that we need to know. And I, there was a delay on the email for sure. So it could be that uh, there is a delay coming. Yes, yeah, see that? All these delays were coming from, uh, all the delays were coming from, you can see that now. All the delays were coming from um, Sandfox. Sandfox takes its time to send this information and it's now delivering them directly into my inbox. That's because um, it took a while. It took a few minutes. So. Sometimes when you're testing these things and we have to factor in the delay, right? We don't know how fast each information is sent and it could be frustrating when you cannot get it right quickly when you don't see results right away. And that's why you guys need to know there's a delay on the side of Publi, which is five minutes, and on the side of Sendfox, which now can be seen is actually taking a few minutes, right? So here, 13 minutes ago, they sent, and now they're sending another one. So this is very, very powerful. And that's my suggestion to you guys. Yes, of course, you'll continue to get all your response from AIDA. Now, something that a lot of people don't know, if you don't have AIDA, and I wanted to also let you know that AIDA is actually one of the most powerful tools that I use. And it does have video response forms. A lot of you guys don't know or don't use it. I don't know. Um, and that's one feature you need to know down the road because you can use that for collecting testimonials, which is one of the deals selling on Absumo. That's all they do, to sell uh, things. So when you edit, this feature is here. A lot of people ask me, where does it, like, how can I see that? And I think it's called Media Answer. So I'm going to put like a video answer here. But it will, look, people will see this one, two, three, four. They give you an option, media answer, do you want video, do you want audio, do you want screen or do you want text? So you want to go here, click on this, uh, this, and turn off all the other options if you want to collect video only, right? And now you have your video answers right there, as you can see, right? So when you send this form right now, and I'm going to publish, and when I preview, like look here, and I do the preview, it will let me collect video answers and that's me now i can you know take a video or record it or and upload it you can also upload that once you are ready you submit you're done this is very very powerful right that's part of either form completely different from what we were talking about but just so you have an idea that we were able to successfully execute a very powerful submission on um, from public to i uh to send fox and send Fox sending emails uh, to to Gmail, and the Gmails are now coming as a promotion because it was a promotion, right? Let's see here, and um, yeah, we did try here. 
this guy didn't wouldn't get the emails i don't know why but definitely it's a either thing it has nothing to do with publi so publi what they're doing right now is from anywhere you are guys and um, they're sending they're doing what they're supposed to do and that's very powerful right for me uh, if i wanted to show if you were to see the integrations that it has it has a lot uh let me go back and show you that's one thing you may want to see now you can trigger from a webhook schedule trailer woocommerce facebook lead ads and facebook lead as salesflare wordpress survey any place ada which is what i used public subscription wish platformly wave charge b and more and they're adding more every day now this is where you can start the trigger from but where you you send them to is even a lot more so they have a lot of things like uh, uh they have the yeah they have a lot more stuff like platformly mail shake wave uh simply charge b potstar gumroad so all the ltd deals that you guys know actually there like slack true mail which is uh, email cleaning one this is something that you actually need to do as well and um, yeah and it's the mojo date and time you know hunter.io intercom uh, to do is uh, active campaign facebook custom audience very powerful facebook leads Z zenla new zenla i actually got it for this too uh, then google sheets all these ones are there so yeah so you know the stat looks kind of limited it's not as much but this other one is that you can send information to and it's a lot more right so very powerful you can do move send you can do twilio so when someone logs sends me that information i can send them a text message automatically from twilio which will let them do that so i think i've taken a lot longer than i planned to do because of the glitch uh, on this samfox site i hope you guys have some value from this i hope you like it and um, I've been trying to avoid buying it because of the, you know, the way they structured the deal. But we finally made a breakthrough. We talked to them. They understood the request of the community. They responded and they are very understandable. Now, in terms of the history, um, they have been there for a while. I bought my app. You can see from here. Um, I'm pretty sure you will see that I bought the app in... Um, probably 24 i think 2018 yes 2018 uh for their subscription billing uh, but i haven't been actively using it but now that they have this information of course everything integrates with their uh, payment platform so i think it would be very valuable that i can just put you know um their their payment system on anywhere and then do trigger send all these different things which is really cool and again, you got to make sure that once you set up your platform, once you set up the actions, it's very, very easy. Uh, the pricing is not bad. You can see that they are still, um, they revise everything today for the LTD. Mm. And you can watch these videos because every single, you know, instant behaves slightly different, but most of them work the same. For example, all the forms you need to clean up. You need to at least uh, remove the... Uh, you have to use you have to make the data usable right and that's why the json extract is there they also have data uh they also have another one called data or something which also does yeah text format you have to use that number format all these ones are like little things that they add there to make sure all the different tools are also talking to each other properly and here but this is this is what what the system pulls and it's this one that you take and clean up with another one and continue from there so it's very very powerful right any questions let me see if there's any question i'll definitely take uh let me see probably yeah that's what it is uh so that doesn't make me feel too confident uh who's that does it work buddy we are yeah that was before we went through that from build as well yeah yeah you could have a lot of forms they use several forms but again for me on that side it worked perfectly fine uh, from public to uh, this one, but from 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 Sandfox, I had some glitches, but it's not a glitch; it's a delay. They have a delay in the system, right? It takes time. So, yep, I think there's nothing to worry about. Again, if you want to pick the deal, that's my link. But you have 60 days money back guarantee. If you don't like it, just refund it. Nobody is gonna ask you any questions or anything. Why are you refunding, right? And that's where the the power lies right you buy something you use it you see it you test it you don't have to ask me or anybody else my opinion right now i like what i see right now why because it works right 
there's some steps that it's a learning curve for sure that when you see something like this for the first time and um, it's not straightforward you're gonna make some mistakes you're gonna see uh, them delays all that stuff but after five minutes you will see that things are working fine right um, but if you're using webhooks again it's kind of like instant automatically you could you could see the result within minutes uh, I see somebody else seeing something okay let me check of course not of course not um, this is this is just for their the LTD is only for their ZP alternative which is called connect right and subscription is full cart I did that in 2018 I bought from them it has always worked I haven't seen any problem with it I wasn't using it as much but most people like it I see people looking for it and email marketing I haven't used their email marketing I haven't used the phone builder I haven't used the email verification system so definitely if you have email marketing you need an email verification and forms all that three together they're more like marketing stuff the subscription is payment uh, connect is more like ZP alternative the technology is developing and evolving every day so I'm sure there'll be more and more options coming on the market but for so far from what I see for the price I see um, it is very very powerful and it's good right uh, I would say grab it now for those of you who are picking up this is something I was I heard from them those who are p picking up 10 codes and um, you get sub accounts they get 10 sub accounts okay so now 50,000 divided by 10 is about 5,000 you know accounts each uh, 5,000 uh, monthly five this this are, this is all renew monthly 5,000 tasks monthly which is a task basically is the start of one to the end of the result right so you want form to come in and that form goes into you know probably which is sent to some Fox and that's one task right so if there's any questions I can still answer them but I think everybody has been here for a while so I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm streaming this live into uh, different uh, platforms so I'm using Crestream I'm live on my Facebook I'm live on the the, the uh, YouTube two channels I'm live on the groups as well so I hope everybody uh, makes it this is another question can you group by uh, I don't think they allow that so avoid doing anything like that you're not allowed to do that and I asked them a question but yeah definitely not what you can do is you can buy it yourself and if you think that's what you want to do I don't know these people do the same with Zapier right uh, is it against their terms and conditions yes if they find out they have a right to shut you down and um, which is the risk we all take but yeah 10 sub accounts that's 79 dollars uh, again what's the point of group buying if 10 sub accounts each one gets 5,000 um, you you'd rather buy two codes and enjoy your life avoid it right or buy three codes and get 12,000 to be honest looking at the pricing anyone getting uh, less than three codes in my opinion uh, is losing a lot but if you don't need it just get one code right because the the value lies from here from the third code uh, I see the value from there the rest are like because three times you're getting four thousand each right so that's twelve thousand but then if you go to five codes you're getting twenty thousand you get additional eight thousand go to ten codes you get additional thirty thousand right uh, compared to what we had last time last time they had one code two thousand two codes four thousand three codes six thousand five codes was ten thousand 10 codes was 20,000 right that's what they had last time it didn't make sense so now that the pricing is fixed everybody should enjoy it and yeah if you want to do look the reason why somebody would use 10 codes is basically they want to use this for their client so what we are asking for is some accounts that are that can be used with the client 10 of them yeah So why do you need sub account? 
exactly that's what i was just answering and why do you need sub account you need sub account for clients right you want to make sure you can assign each client what you want to do like let's say i have 10 different clients each client has a different need one is a power user they need 10,000 the other one just need is 500 the other one just need is 200 the other one need is 1000 right so that's where the this lies uh, this is comes from okay yeah i did skip um one or two or start from 3 or or go for 10 if you can do it Again, they may or may not. We haven't yet finalized that section. We talk about payment plan for those people who want to buy 10 codes. So maybe rather than one payment, maybe have three split payments, right? So that somebody can pay for, uh, you know, a few hundred is now, a few hundred is down the road, like that. Right? Within the 60-day period, they can do it if they have to, if they, if they wanted to. Somebody buys now, in 30 days, they can pay another payment. Then 30 days from that will be the end of the refund period. They can do another payment. So in 60 days, they can make three payments. Uh, that's what I suggest to them. It's up to them to take it. Because I see a lot of people who are interested in the 10 codes and see the value. Uh, yeah. Zapier used to have an LTD. It was 3,000 3, no, 3, tasks a month for $39. But you could only do 20 zaps. No more than that. For this one, you get unlimited apps, uh, instant unlimited workflow, instant webhooks, multi-step calls, very powerful. So you can add actually 10 of them, 20 of them together. Formatters, filters, path, routers, five-minute interval. That's what it is, right? So any questions? Any other questions? Yeah. I changed that email for sure, so it, it was coming. It was taking time, but finally it's coming. Okay, perfect. Any more questions? No more questions? Then I can end it there. Thank you so much for joining me. And have a good and wonderful night. It's almost three minutes to the one hour mark. Have a good night, guys, for my end. Thank you.